Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the five rules for young entrepreneurs. If you're in sales, if you're a young business owner or an entrepreneur, you wanna know what I'm gonna teach in this video. Check it out. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying of shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'm a wake up. Hey guys, Andy Elliott. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the five rules for young entrepreneurs, sales reps, business owners. If you wanna be the best, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, and write this down. By the way, there's the day you're born, the day you die, and the day your life changes forever. If you can live by these five rules, these five laws, these five pillars, you're gonna become dangerous. All right, so rule number one, law number one, pillar number freaking one. The fear of what other people think about you most likely will be the number one reason why you don't reinvent yourself, why you don't recreate yourself, and why you don't become fast enough who you need to be to kill it quickly. So write this down, rule number one, right? The fear of what other people think about me. Look to your left, look to your right. If anybody's next to you, say, screw you. Why? Because it doesn't matter what they think about you. Write this down. You will never out earn your own self-worth. You will. That means what you think about you is ultimately all that matters. So why would it matter what anyone else thinks about you? It doesn't. But we live in a world in which somebody says, raise your hand if you believe in this. And before they'll raise their hand, they'll look to the left, they'll look to the right, because they don't want to be the only one raising their hand. I assure you, I was the only only one that believed in me when I started my business, anytime that I pushed through and did something big, when I did massive things, I had to believe first. No one else believed in me. Look, your family, your friends, your neighbors, their goal is to keep you safe and get you to, to, to play small. They don't want you to take risk. Why would you give up your nine to five, Mr. Entrepreneur? Why would you put yourself in that suffer position? Why would you go through that? Hey, screw what they think. The fear of what other people think about you, you'll never out-earn your own self-worth. You'll never out-earn your own self-image. Have an image of what, of what you want to become and who you want to become. And by the way, if anyone thinks differently, who cares? Don't even ask for permission or don't ask them. So that's rule number one. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, rule number two, self-development is the greatest secret weapon you will ever have. Now, I want you to explain this. By the way, write this down, self-develop, call it leveling up. Call it training, okay? Call it going to another gear. Call it getting in the zone. Don't care. I call it self-development. Why? Because it's with myself and it's developing me. I want to explain mindset, skill set, habits. Write down these three things. Mindset, skill set, habits. And I would also write down fitness. I would tell you that these things are super, super important to self-develop in. Number one, when you walk into a room, if you go to shake somebody's hand and you're ob obviously in physical condition, you look like you're in great shape, they're going to respect you and probably believe that you're disciplined enough to do what you say you're gonna do. That's important. Plus, do you wanna look like their mentor? If you wanna be an entrepreneur, do you want people to look up to you? Good, you gotta be someone they wanna look up to. Also, another deal, when you're self-developing, write this down, speaking talking, right? Write down the way that you believe, write down eye contact, write down body language, write down posture, okay? You gotta self-develop on a little bit of these things that people can see with the eyes. Now, internally, right? The way that you think, your mindset. Why do we self-develop where we can have a mindset that can't be broken? Why? Because things are gonna get hard. In order to go to another level, you're gonna persevere. It means you're gonna go through hard stuff, okay? So we self-develop so that we can understand that, dude, these things are good for us. Suffering is good. Also, self-development. I learned this a long time ago that when I looked around a room, I saw most people would read just enough books to get to making maybe a quarter of a million a year or something like that. And once they got to enough where they could have enough, pay their bills, right? That would be their standard. And or maybe a little extra, they would slow down and they would stop developing. Why? Because they learned just enough stories, they learned just enough information to make what they needed to make to earn the life that they wanted. Well, what I did is that I decided, since they'll slow down, how about I do more? By the way, I want you to write this down. Will I read 100 pages one time 
or I read one page a hundred times. See, I, we're in an era right now where a lot of people that think self-development is going through a book as fast as possible so they can tell their buddies, hey, I read this book. Guys, find something, read it or learn it until you understand it like the back of your hand. That way you understand it. And that's really what self-development is, is when you can pull it inside your heart and you own it as, as part of your life, as part of, of your security as a man or a woman. Now listen, self-development is what has allowed me these last three years to build a nine-figure business and kill it and crush it in sales when I was younger. Self-development, it will separate you from everyone else. All right, guys, number three, rule number three, never underestimate the amount of effort that it's gonna take to get something done. This is what I commonly see. People think that they work hard. You know what I think? I think it's gonna take 20 times more. That's what I think. I think it's gonna take 20 times more. And I think a lot of people underestimate. So write that down, underestimate. They underestimate the amount of effort that it's going to take to build this business or to make this project happen or to make this, okay? So you're an entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship is to create and a lot of people think that they're doing a lot when they're creating this new business or whatever. They're not. Never underestimate the amount of effort. Do more. All right, number four, guys. Have a delusional belief. Write this down. Stay sold on me. Stay sold on me. You're going to have things that are going to come up. They're going to slap you in the face. You're going to have people reject you. You're going to have business deals fall through. You're going to have a buddy burn you. You're going to lose all your money. You're literally going to have the worst day, worst month, worst night you've ever imagined. Stay sold on you. Okay. I remember there was a time in my business where you know, it, it wasn't this story today of me telling you how great everything was. It was, it was the bitch. It, the build is the bitch. It was the grind. And I didn't want to, you know, tell anybody about this awful time, but I'm telling you because you're going to have some of these days. I stay, so, I stay sold on me. I didn't sell out. I stay sold. Okay. And because I was sold on me, I persevered. I pushed through. The next day I woke up again. I was excited. Doubt is a traitor. I attacked and I continue to kill it. All right, guys, number five. This is super important and I want to explain this to you. You are going to eliminate 99% of the people in the world with this one last simple deal as an entrepreneur. Number one, be real. Don't be fake, okay? I don't care who likes you or who don't, who don't like you. If you'll do a couple things here, if you'll tell the truth, if you'll not lie, in a world full of people where people lie every time that there's pressure put on them or there's something going on, they just lie and they're, they're frauds and they cheat. If you'll just not do these things and you'll decide to tell the truth no matter what, you will literally destroy dust and smoke 99% of the people out there, okay? So number five is gonna be to keep the delusional belief, make sure that you don't lie, become who it is that you wanna become, screw what everybody else thinks about you, wrap all these into one, learn the skill, self-develop, and these simple five pillars will have you dusting everybody in your entrepreneur journey. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.